Let's mention the elephant in the room, shall we? I've got a new treat! Isn't she pretty? If you saw our last video, you saw the sad plastic tree that was behind me. And luckily, my husband slapped my hand and said, No! No more plastic trees! So we got a real tree this time. She's about eight feet tall, smells of pine, and it just makes this house feel even more like Christmas. I just feel like, I just wanna pray all the time. But enough about the tree, let's get into it. So the last time we were here, we worked on all the walls. We added all this wainscoting, the color came out great, it looks beautiful. But today we're gonna work on this wall. I left this wall blank because I wanted to eventually add my design, hand painting on this. It's gonna look really, really nice. But I also wanna show you this great find that I found at a garage sale. We were looking for something pretty much at this magnitude for all the teachers to have all their crafts and supplies. But for now, let's get started on this wall. For the words on the wall, I wanted to use that same green jungle camouflage as I did on all the wainscoting because I knew that on that wall, it was going to be full of designs and pops of colors. So if there was gonna be a time and place to use that green, it would be on the words and everything else would be filled with every other colors of the rainbow. So originally we were going to do a mural of some mountains, clouds, but we changed it up. We are gonna put geometric shapes, different colors, some blues, some pinks, just drops of color, and then one big piece here of maybe some plants or some line work of fruit, who knows, but it's gonna be really cool with all these shapes and colors and we'll see how that works out. So we have this little circle here. Maybe that salmon color can go across here. Now you said you wanted yellow. Would you want the yellow to be along this wall or would you want it in pops of other areas? I like it all over. Where will the shelf be? In this area. Wherever the shelf fits in there. Okay. Even if it's inside the circle, it's like, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> So I started off with my circles first. I projected a large and small circle on the wall so I can get my perfect and best lines. And then I painted them in the color French Colony. Then I went on with my line designs. I placed tape along the wall to make sure that my lines and stripes were straight as can be. And then I painted that in the color Queen's Tart. After that, I started on the top of my rainbow and other accent shapes in the color Beehive. Finally, I used a pop of color called Maple Glaze to break up those pastels and light colors on the wall. When I finally finished all the shapes, I started on my favorite part of the wall, which was the line art. I used the color Iron Mountain to paint a drawing of an olive branch. And I thought that was such a fitting image to put on the wall because the Bible actually talks frequently about the olive branch. And of course, the most memorable story is the dove bringing an olive branch back to Noah after the flood. So I thought it was so cute and so fun to put on the wall and it came out beautiful. After working on the check-in wall, I started to look around at the other walls and I decided to make some changes. I wanted to add some verbiage or maybe a phrase on one of the adjacent walls. So I asked the pastor's wife on maybe a phrase that she'd like or to put on the wall and she came up with such a great and perfect mantra to put on the wall for the kids. Hey baby, what are you doing up there? Talk I am painting the letter D in the word God. Okay. 
I'm painting this word to go over the phrase that I did earlier on he created me, he forgave me, he loves me, all that. And that was my second week working on the kids space for Bridge Church. I think everything came out so beautiful. The check-in wall with all those shapes, all those colors, the line art. I mean, everything just came together so beautifully. And of course, the adjacent wall with the phrasing, the mantra for the kids. I think that's so cute and fun for them. I love everything. I love how everything's turning out. I'm so excited. Keep watching Earth and Tone because we're gonna continue on this project. There's so much to do. We still have the wall art to do, the furniture. I mean, everything is going to be done in this space and you can see all of that progress. So keep watching Earth and Tone because next week we're gonna show you more and more. Bye.